Thanks for dropping in. I know it will be worth your while looking around. I'm Parent Power Pete, and the reason I'm here is to give you more parent power right now. There's no need to look at this video any further if you're ready to see what those guides over there can offer you. I'm just here to give you some more background information if you'd like it. But if you are ready, turn me off and go get those guides. So a little more information then. We are parents who were dissatisfied with what was on offer in the autism world. All we were told, and it's usually the line you're still given, was how to treat the symptoms of mild autism. And how to keep our boy essentially in palliative care, living in his own world with structures, living with what they said was an incurable disorder. So my message to you is, don't go for that approach. Don't settle for that. There is a way for your child to learn how to become more and more frequently interactive with the real world, becoming basically in the end what they call neurotypical. So how's it done? Rather than focusing on autism symptoms, for example, worrying about your child's poor eye contact or poor communication skills, and instructing your child to look at you or speak to you, the first thing to do with this new approach is to change your emphasis from instructing and instead focus on understanding your child. And don't be afraid to put aside that autism label so you can really look at your boy or girl instead. Now when your boy or girl can't meet your eye, you won't be instructing, look at me. Instead, you'll be full of curiosity, asking yourself, what is it that's stopping my boy or girl from looking at me or talking to me? And don't be surprised if you now come up with an answer. Something like, you know, my child seems preoccupied, distant from me, as if he or she was struggling with some kind of confusion or stress. Did you say background stress? Would that explain, for example, why when instructing your child on what to say, you don't get much attention or comprehension? because you now understand that your child is too busy just coping, too confused or stressed to really listen to what you're saying. If you look at episodes one and two of the You Experience Autism series on our Mild Autism website, you can experience the sensory overwhelm that your child feels, and you can experience the need to escape to your own world to shut it out. This experience will remind you how important it is to understand what your child is going through first before you attempt to instruct. So what's the moral of the story? It's that the understanding method of training works far better than the traditional instructing style and that it doesn't require rocket science to appreciate that. So what do we do instead with parent power real world training? Step one is we zero in on the stresses that are causing our child's withdrawal and then of course we go about reducing them, removing the source of loud noises, creating a quiet place for our child to recover from sensory assaults and so forth. Then step two, I teach you the methods that will encourage your child into the real world when he or she is ready and not at other times. These are unique strategies you'll find only on this site. Can I give you a summary of these unique strategies? Certainly. First, we get your boy or girl interested in playing simple games with us, and I teach you the method for doing that. Then, once he or she is deeply involved in the game, we motivate him or her to enter the real world as part of the game. And you will learn how to use this very important technique as part of your training. So, what do we achieve by using this real world training strategy? What we are doing is we are teaching our child to connect the experience of having fun with the experience of real world entering. So that our child wants to be in the real world more and more often. And here you have the essence, the very heart of real world training. So over time, as your child contacts the real world more and more often, then naturally your child's real world abilities will increase. 
and then the magic starts to happen. As your child's real world abilities begin to increase, so all the own world disabilities start to decrease. And then all those symptoms of autism that you were so worried about will begin to fade away over time of their own accord because they are being replaced by your child's real world understanding and capability while your child gets closer and closer every day to the neurotypical level. All achieved through your understanding of your boy or girl, not your instructions. I wouldn't be too concerned if what I've said isn't clear yet, especially if this is the first time you've come across this new and very hopeful information. After all, not many new things are instantly understandable. But you'll find if you begin the real world training, as you actually go through the course, it will all become very clear and easy to do. So now it's time to look at those guides so you can begin your new adventure of better understanding and better helping your boy or girl, making all your lives easier and happier.